all right guys good morning everybody andrew is here from p capital trading morning 7 30 in the morning i had a really really good day today same as yesterday i think in total uh today and yesterday would be over fifty thousand dollar profit uh, which is the market really moving and uh, you know i don't expect uh, to get that type of thing but uh today was a very 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 nice and amazing day so i had a really really big uh, trading on amd obviously heavy size i love trading amd on size because you get filled really fast and you know there's really good momentum on it and i sold some uh, puts on nvda and uh, that was also a decent profit so that's the situation here on the realized pnl and the realized on pnl is also not that bad uh, we do have a little bit of a short on tesla by uh sorry long tesla synthetically by selling some puts on av and the Amazon as well, and uh, some SPXL that I got yesterday. See if you can get this one to four, uh, $420, and I'll see how it goes on that. But let's go through the market. Uh, so ma market was yesterday very, very strong. Obviously, I didn't get the whole move on yesterday. I got my uh, shares. I don't remember what I traded. I think maybe it was AMD or Tesla I traded that. But that was a really nice uh, trade that I did. And so in the market, you see that you, you had really nice run up uh, yesterday. And today, we kind of gap down and which is kind of expected you know when you are having such a huge run like amd like you know such a huge run up eight percent from 70 to 76 you kind of expected that uh, you might not have uh, that much of a move uh, the next day so kind of a continuation so market was gapping down a little bit and i'm actually happy that i was late for a couple of minutes into the office uh, because you know i really didn't want to get chopped up in the next uh, you know half an hour uh, first uh, five ten minutes but by the time that i got and fire up the trading station i realized that uh you know really squeeze above the we value volume also market at the same time was going up so i jumped in long on amd very heavy for the break of high of the day and this moving averages and as you see from 73 75 all the way up to uh, 75.50 it came down dropped below the viva i added that around 74.25 again one more time two for a pop about uh, 75.20 uh, one more time uh, so this when, when the stock is very strong comes down below the viva sometimes it's a good buying opportunity to go up uh, to go back up this didn't turn out to be a 920 trade for those of you who follow me you know obviously failed as a 920 trade because this drop in the market was very very significant if you look at the even qqq you see that we had had such a huge uh, drop that even sometimes the market is selling off like crazy like that you know it kind of messes up the whole 920 trade but if you are in a normal market condition you know this not, could have been a really nice 920 trade but again we are not really in a normal market environment cues from minus one percent plus 0.2 percent and then drops another one percent and then comes back up this is not a normal market condition although it's kind of flat right now but it's really the volatility that is in the market so amd gives us a really really nice opportunity from all of the stocks that i was watching nvidia was the strongest and traded actually really really nicely so we can act before we go here we have to look into that that also amd actually essentially turned out to be a really nice five minute open range break up, down uh, break up even though we had this doji here but that was a sign that you know we can actually go significantly uh, higher <clears throat> so uh yeah nvda was a uh, really really nice uh, you know very strong at the open state above the web app so what i did on nvda instead of going long here at 190 189.50 so i sold the puts at 185 for the end of this week and my uh, you know assumption was that if this uh, nvda is going to go up the puts are going to be worthless because you know you know nobody you know wants them and if i go short on them or selling them then you know i synthetically i'm going long on that and that's exactly what i did on uh, uh, let me bring this uh, chart here so to put it here so that's uh, exactly what happened so the, the value of the puts from two dollars that 210 that i sold significantly came down to one dollar so that's like a hundred percent drop and then came back up so what i did here was when i sold the puts on nvda covered here 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 and i missed the cover actually at this bottom came back and i got out of it at the break even so you can actually trade this exactly the same trade management rule that you can have and this one had a really really decent uh, you know uh, uh open interest so you know 10 contract you could easily uh you know get filled on that so that was a very decent move on that front uh, so what else do we have and that's it and i did try to take a small reversal on tesla uh, which i kind of uh, it did work uh, but i really didn't like the fact that uh, 
you know, I, you know, Tesla sold off again below 140, 150. I went long and I was hoping to get this move. After two minutes, I kind of got out because I really didn't want to stay in there. I had a really good day and I didn't want to. And essentially, I lost a little bit of money on Tesla. All right, so perfect. That's uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, Norm, uh, sorry, Norm, uh, uh, Brian, how was your trading day? I was. <clears throat> it was pretty good. I was uh, unfortunately I was on at the open, so it was a little bit choppy. I traded BXRX twice. Um, once I both times I both times I partialed on pops, and then got stopped out on the pullbacks. But I did hold through this one halt, and that worked out okay. Um, so I did make a bit of money on BXRX. I tried trading Nvidia at the open too. It was but unfortunately, like you said, it was pretty choppy for the first 10 minutes. So I made a little money and stopped out on the rest. But then I caught a nice, um, when Tesla really started to break out around 9, 9.45-ish, I took that one through uh, 144, 145, 146 partialed, and then just stopped out of the rest when it, when it rolled over. So, so it was, it was a, a pretty good day. Yeah, really, really good day. So we had a couple of uh, good tra trades from the community. Uh, I think Thor trades uh, on Tesla. I'm actually sharing it my screen. Uh, so he went short up here. That's his typical uh, short uh, above the WeWeb. I think he got stopped out. So that was a one hour loss, but he was expecting to get two hours. So that's a really nice uh, uh, trade management. And he pop up near our tree, you know, second attempt uh, to the short, first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour. That's a really nice uh, drop. And then he came, came back up. He added for the short. That's exactly what the area that I went long. And he was hoping to get down and he got stopped out, which is totally fine. That's actually, I really like that because this is a nice trade management. And it's not really, uh, you know, uh, you make it very, you know, very just, uh, you know, sugar coated. It's just, yeah, you get a stop that, you get accept a loss. You don't kill yourself. You don't, ang you get angry. You don't hit your pet. What you do is you wait for another opportunity. You get another one to go down. And, you know, see, that's essentially, you know, that's the statistics in trading. So what you get, uh, you know, you may lose one R and then you get another two or three R of that. And that's, uh, that's how the trading works. You can never be 100% uh, in trading. Uh, that's what I like about uh, that. This, here's another one uh, that he did short meta up there at 144.50. And as you see, he got this one again, really, really nice. And that's what trading is. Even if you're right 50% of the time and you have this really nice trade management. So for for uh, Thor, is you know this is his risk. And he can easily get you know, one R here and one R here or two R here. So he's really nice. Uh, risk to reward uh, trading here and probably he's going to get even more on that and that's what you do your consistency comes from this one and maybe one day you know we can define an algos that def trade this one for us perfectly but before really become that intelligent a really nice trader can actually uh, monetize this uh, moves perfectly all right so today we have a very very important presentation by paris paris is a new addition to our team guys so uh, he's going to talk about uh, really time and sales. There's a lot of information in the tape, which we call it time and sales. So, you know, you can actually have that uh, understanding of time and sales. He trades based on time and sales. He, he, you can see the breakouts. You know, the, essentially this one is, uh, you know, the battle of the buyers and sellers. And a lot of time you can see the change in the behavior of the buyers and sellers just by looking at the time and sales. There are also indicators and algos that are looking into the time and sales. But for now, uh, Paris is going to give a presentation um, uh, today. And he also created a 15 hour course on just how to read the time and sales. And he's posting it on Trading Terminal. So, uh, 15 hours course. I watched the course, it's really, really nice. And uh, uh, we're, we're looking forward to uh, see his course. And another good thing, guys, that we have is on Trading Terminal, now we are building a, not only a real time simulator that is going to be re launched really soon, web based real time simulator, free to use. We also have this replay. So in the replay, the good thing is that if Paris is talking about an example, so you can go select a date 
and uh, you know select the ticket and open the time and cells and actually look at the time and cells so you can actually see open look at the time and cells and see you know the things that he's saying you can see it yourself and you can actually practice trading it or not you know buy and sell you can you know based on what he's really talking because that's the same time and cells you can actually go back to normal speed so obviously you want to see that the normal speed and look at the numbers but that time and cells is exactly what we have at dust uh, so you can actually learn something from it all right guys so these are the tools that we built for you with love and uh hopefully you can use it if you are not a member feel free to check us out if you're not a subscriber feel free to subscribe like and if you have any question guys leave it in the comments i personally read the comments and uh, answer you have a good day guys uh, uh cheers